Well, today is the first of the memorial services for the victims of the Umpqua Community College shooting. 34-year-old Jason Johnson will be memorialized during a service in Roseburg today, and the community is already lining up to show support. Our Chris Woodard is there live. Chris? And we are a full hour before that service is set to begin here. You can hear the honks of support and see as we take a live look. Dozens of people already here lining the street. Dozens of motorcycles in the parking lot here lining the outside of that parking lot. Everyone here to show their support for this family and let them know they are not standing alone today. Uh, Jason Johnson was 34 years old and had just started his first week of college last week. After the shooting, his family released a statement saying Johnson was proud to be a Christian and proud of himself for recently enrolling in school. His family says they felt he had finally found his path and will be loved and missed. Some of those coming out today to show support are a group of motorcycle riding students, dozens of them in fact, who plan to accompany the funeral procession. And some of them say they were actually on campus in the building next to where the shooting took place. Um, our role is um, we're supporting the victims um, as a UCC students as a tragedy here and um, our role is just to uh, kind of just stand up for them around the funeral just to show their show their family and their friends our support. And Lindsay who you just heard from there one of those that was in the room next to where that shooting took place. She said she blocked the door and was listening to the scanner traffic on an app on her phone to try and let the students in that room know what was going on. Just one of many, many stories we're hearing about the actions of students on that day. Here live, you can see all of those people lining up. There is actually a group of several dozen more people that are just walking down to the area right now because they just arrived. And no doubt by the time in one hour, when this service occurs, there will be even more people that will continue to come here to stand and show their support. Live in Roseburg, I'm Chris Woodard for Coin 6 News.